In America, we're expected to work really hard, we're expected to be the best. If you're not the best, then you're like failing. If I fail, I'm dead, basically. Life's over. You don't go to college, you don't get a job, you don't get a job, you're, you know, we don't need you. What if a big school is not doable? The intense pressure on getting into a brand name college has really changed the dynamic of the high school experience. You have to succeed, you have to succeed, you have to succeed. I'm in multiple AP classes, and then there's all these extracurriculars on top of that. List all the things that you do, like tell us why you're the best. It's always you against your peers. You're creating an environment where all kinds of unhealthy things breed. There's a, like a breaking point. When kids get this stressed, they make choices that are not healthy and that they're not proud of. When SATs rolled around, one of the number one questions was, did you use Adderall? Like finals week, you just assume everybody already takes it. They're kind of like a superpower, really. Kids think of these drugs as performance enhancing. In fact, it can have a really debilitating effect. I don't think they realize the risks when they're taking it because it is a very powerful drug. It's an amphetamine. When a 16-year-old or 17-year-old starts taking Adderall in order to study harder, that's not his fault. It's our fault. I feel like it's wrong for America to tell kids that aren't prescribed ADHD to not use them because I feel like that's what America's pushing.